I seem to be making nearly yearly videos now on a Rangers manager leaving, then the rumour mill, and then a new manager joining. Um, if you know your Rangers history, you'll know that I think the average length of a manager, and it will have changed now from the last few years, I think it used to be like seven or eight years or something. I think Bill Struth was there for 30 odd years. Um, there's one or two others from the really, really early history of Rangers that were there for like 10 plus, 20 plus years. Um, and even people like Alex McLeish had good long stints at Ibrox, whereas obviously they've now had four managers in the space of like since even I've just been covering Scottish football. That's obviously been Steven Gerrard, Giovanni Van Bronckhorst, Michael Beale, and now Philippe Clement. Yes, Rangers this morning um, confirmed the news that Philippe Clement would be the new manager of Rangers Football Club. And he said, I am honoured to have been appointed as the new manager of Rangers Football Club, and I'd like to thank the board for giving me this opportunity. I am highly excited by this chance to achieve success of one of Europe's most iconic clubs across four competitions in what remains of this season and beyond. Before we get into my thoughts on the appointment, I was at Ibrox today. Here is what some of the Rangers fans thought of their new manager. Big day for Rangers Football Club. You have a new manager, yes. Philippe Clement. Yes. Thoughts on the appointment? I think when the names that came out, I think he was the one that I think jumped out when you look at what he'd done, particularly in Belgium, because I think it was three in a row. Three in a row with two yeah, different clubs. Two different clubs. I think he won a Belgian Cup as well. He had a really good season in Monaco, which I don't think a lot of people are kind of paying much attention yeah. to, but I thought it was a really good season in Monaco. Let's get run over uh, here, let's move out the done, way, yeah. He done well, I think he finished third. Yes, uh, yeah. But then he left the next season, but I think he did have like one good season, yeah. but Monaco seemed like one of them clubs who sometimes would do really well and then just so have a stinker the next. Down, a little bit, yeah. Yeah, but up and down. I, listen, I wouldn't judge him on that. He had one good season there, I think. The, everybody knows about the French league anyway, so he yeah. a miracle to win it. Exactly, PSG, yeah. So. And do you know much about his style of play at all? Have you I heard think, much no, about I that? No, I mean, I've not seen much about in terms of his style of play, but well, I think what do the Rangers fans want from well, a style of play? I, th I think, well, listen, the last couple of months, Sam, yeah, I think we. Last we couple want of years some, have been well, a bit yeah, tough, yeah. Yeah, I just. Win, winning games but I want to see with a bit of passion and a bit of excitement and a yeah. bit of enjoyment uh, I think I, I don't think some of these players are as bad as been made out but I don't think they've been coached properly I think it's obvious Michael was a little bit maybe just out of these I think the rebuild was too big for him Do you think Philippe Clement needs to change things tactically or more from like a man management standpoint where do you I, think I they've think gone wrong the players? probably man management there's a, there's a couple of guys that have been here a while now Sam that maybe are just reach that point where you get any kind of job you've been there for a while and it's about I think the man manager I think that's the first thing because I think I think the minutes a lot of players have played as well I talk a lot about Tavern is an amazing player yeah. technically he's been fantastic for you he's yes. got 100 got over 100 goals from right back it's amazing I've never seen that again in my life but he's played so much football over the last few years yeah. I think he needs someone to be able to rotate yeah. with him and just take some minutes off him especially in maybe cup games or yeah. smaller league games that, that you could still win without him you know Dujon Sterling was brought in and the guys are like him. Barely played, I know. It's I weird, yeah. I understand that. So I would like to see the manager come in and doing something different. But in saying that, he's coming in and it's such a quick run of games before yeah. the next international break. And what do you think about some of the other names that were mentioned? And obviously, you said that Philippe Clement was your number yeah. one pick. What about Muscat, Mus Rooney, yeah. John Eustace, Lampard? I, I wouldn't have made I mean, I think, I think I understand why people were concerned about Lampard. I can understand that. I think probably down to those two, Muscat and... and Clement, I think they were the two, you know, I think there was a boy, was it Pascal Janssen? Yes. But, I mean, listen, he's doing some yep. job at AZ. Yep. He's not going to walk away from that just now, though. No, they're second, I think. Yeah, yeah, I mean, Ajax have fallen apart. He's got a really good chance to do something. No disrespect, he's not going to come here. Don't blame him for that. And obviously, Philippe Clement didn't have a club as well. Do you no, think so that, that was a big part of the yes. board's decision making? Was yeah. it he was, you know, because he could just go and get him straight away? The last two years, Sam, there's, there's having to pay guys off, and, you know, I think they're still paying Gio off. They've obviously paid Michael Beale. I think the story was he gets six months of his. Salary, I don't know how okay. true that is, that's what I have. But yeah. yeah, I think when somebody's available like that, and I think he's due tomorrow, obviously, because Rangers have got a big big game on yep. one side. I think it's Saturday, Thursday. It's Hibs Sunday, next, isn't it? And it's the semi -final. And so my final question for you then on Philippe Clement. Yes. What does a good season look like for him? Now, what does he well, need to achieve now? See by the time the winter break comes round, Sam, he's got a very good opportunity to have a trophy in the cabinet and some form of European football. Now that could be finishing third in the conference. I wouldn't mind that. Look at West Ham. Yeah. Second, the only problem is in that group, you get the Champions League dropout. Yeah, of course. Win it. I don't know if we're capable of winning it right now, but after what happened in Cyprus, that was an awful performance. So for you, just any trophy this season. Any trophy this and season. Go and go deep in Europe. Go deep in Europe and yep. get a bit of money in. Get people interested because if there's European football after January, we're all interested. Players are interested. Hammer, go for the Scottish Cup. Yep. 
and then let the guy do what he needs to do in the summer. Right, Pete. Pete. Big Ranger supporter, as I can Hi. see. Huge. What do you make of the um, Philippe Clement uh, appointment today? Well, I didn't know that he had been appointed, but he was the guy that I wanted right away. Okay. What what made him the man that you wanted? Well, I didn't really know much about him, but uh, when I looked at his stats and I seen all the trophies and that he won, that's... Yep. He won three time. titles in three years in Belgium with two different clubs. Yeah. Do you think that he can eventually win the league with Rangers? Do you think he can win the league this season? Uh, maybe, maybe not this season. Yeah. I think he could, but the only problem is, with him not being used to Scottish football, he's going to come up against... The ten, ten at the back. Yeah, of course. Yeah, a lot of teams will come here and just play that low block style. I think he'll do really well in Europe, though, because he's he's done it, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah. He's um he's obviously well travelled as well. He's been in France. Uh -huh. He's obviously managed in Belgium. So, was it today that uh, Rangers tweeted out this morning? Yeah, I, I'm here for the women's game I mean, today. That's what I'm here for. But also, uh, it's just the the day that he's got announced. So I'm obviously uh, making two videos now: one about the women's game, but one about Clement uh, as well. And so, out of the other names, then Muscat, he was obviously a player here. Frank Lampard was uh, rumoured. Rooney for a while. John Eustace. Was there any other names that you were like, oh, I'd quite well, like to see him? I, but I quite like Muscat. It wasn't so much because he played for him just before. It's just the fact that he's got a quite a good record. But then, hard uh, man as well. Yeah. What the players need, right? What they need. But we're being the J League and uh, also the American League. The Australian League. Uh, yeah. Uh, aye, sorry. They're no, they're no as good. But Postacoglu did that and then aye. obviously he went and did what he did at Celtic. Do you I think know. that Muscat he's, he's would have had disciple, enough to... Yeah, he is a little bit. Do you think that would have turned Rangers fans off a little bit, that they wouldn't have wanted uh, to I go down know. a similar route to Celtic? I, I heard some Rangers fans saying, oh, but we didn't want one of them to sort of hang. But the way I look at it is I'm no caring who they get as long as they win. As long as they win your trophies, yeah. Uh, and so what does a good season look like now for Philippe Clement? Well, at the moment, I'm hoping we can maybe catch up a wee bit in the league. So you've not given up hope on the league then? No, no, I haven't given it up on it totally, but I'm thinking to myself, Celtic's not going to drop many points. And I'm thinking, unless they drop points, and we're going to have to win everyone. Yep. You got the League Cup semis coming up. Yeah. Big chance for him to come in and win a trophy yeah, straight away. Great if he wins that straight off. Firstly, what do you think went wrong for Michael Beale? Uh, to be honest, I don't think that the players uh, really played for him in the end. I think that uh, he lost the changing room a bit. Yeah. And uh, obviously, I think he tried to implement a system, but. I don't really know what that system was. Yeah, it seems that. like the players weren't playing for him, like you say. I feel yeah. like they did that with Gio the season before as well. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but I think I wish we'd kept Gerard, to be honest with you. You reckon? Yeah. yeah now I he's in we... Saudi, obviously, and yeah. in, in the big bucks. Um, but what did you make of the announcement this morning that Philippe Clement is the new manager? Uh, I'm looking forward to that, to be honest, I think, because he's, uh, he's got a style of play and yeah. it suits the players that we've got. Obviously, because he likes to play attacking and fast football, and is that what he likes to play? I've not heard yeah. too much about him, but from what you've, you've I've heard, I've heard that much either. But from what I've been reading and seeing, he likes to play fast attacking football. And, and that's what you want to see here. Yeah. The crowd here want to see good attacking football, well, especially with how it's been this season. I feel like. Yeah, well, when you've got fifty thousand people getting frustrated when getting the ball and passing it back to the goalkeeper. Yeah. But finally, if we get the ball moving forward, hopefully we'll start winning games. That would be ideal because we could do with that, to be honest. And was there any other names that were put out there? Obviously Muscat, Rooney, Lampard. There was a few big names linked. Is this the one that you wanted then? I didn't want Lampard at all. I don't think that, especially after his second spell at Chelsea, it was a bit of a disaster. Yeah. And you can't really write them off because they're in, they're in free fall. But, uh, I think it was between Musket and Clement. At least he's on. won something. Both of them have won things. Yeah. At least the manager now has won stuff. Yeah, yeah. And what would make a successful season for him now, do you reckon? Uh, so well, seven points behind Celtic, I believe, in the league yeah. and in the League Cup semis. Just obviously still got Europe to play for. We'll need to win uh, the, the League Cup, definitely, especially with Celtic not being in it. And then I'd like to win all three, but I don't think that's going to happen. There was an interesting video that Rangers TV posted on their Twitter that I just sort of listened to there, um, a minute and a half long or something, where um, the first question that was asked of Philippe Clement was um, about winning, winning games. There's that pressure. And he said, no, it's not pressure. It's something that he's always done since being a child is win. And look, he's won league titles before. And I know that Rangers fans are going to want to see not just him winning, but also a good style of play, um, considering sort of the last few years. I know Know, even Gio did get them to Europa League final but there was criticisms about some of the football at times and Michael Beale as well it was like 
a lot of backwards passing, a lot of just playing out wide and crossing the ball into the box. Um, whereas, yeah, I feel like Rangers uh, fans are expecting a bit of a style of play now that is like attractive and good to watch, but I guess they'll just want him to actually win some trophies. Obviously, they have the League Cup coming up, the semi-final, and then potentially the final if they're to beat Hearts in the semi, um, which is a great chance for him to go and win some silverware in his first few months as a Rangers manager. I still find it amazing how since 2012, Rangers have only won two major trophies. Obviously, they've come up through the smaller divisions, won a few smaller trophies and stuff, but they've only won one league and one cup. They've been to the Europa League final, but you don't get anything for coming second. They've still not won the League Cup, um, despite being in a few finals, I think, that they've lost. Um, but yeah, I feel like to get Rangers back to where they were... Pre-2012, they're going to need to win a couple of leagues, maybe in a row. They're going to need to win like a cup double. Um, so I think Philippe Clermont's got his work cut out. I spoke about certain players needing rests and rotation. Um, and I think they're still star performers, good players, Tavernier, Goldson, Lundstrom. But I think that in the games at home, the games against smaller teams, particularly in the Cups, um, they need to look to the youth more to take minutes off of some of the more experienced players to give them a rest so they can perform in the bigger games, but also give experience to the young players. Um, yeah, I just think uh, I just think it's about time that more youngsters got chances at not just Celtic, but uh, not just Rangers, but Celtic as well. I don't think either of the big two in Scotland give enough chance to youth. Stephen Davis did it in the last couple of games. Whether Philippe Clement does it. Um, remains to be seen. Rangers fans, what did you think of the appointment? What do you think of the fans that I spoke to earlier? Are you happy with the appointment? Do you know much about him? Do you know much about his style of play? Um, he's obviously won many, many trophies. He did okay at Monaco before, I think, getting sacked a year and a half into his reign. So, yeah, he's got good experience, obviously, in France and in Belgium. Can he do it now? He's called Rangers one of the most iconic clubs, um, I think is how he, he phrased it. So, um, yeah, big news, big appointment. Are you happy with it? Let me know in the comments section below. I've got videos coming out of my ears at the moment, um, so please do subscribe uh, for more content. I'm gonna leave just one video on screen. This video right here is what YouTube thinks you are most likely to click on. This is based on all your behavior on the platform, so do you like the look of it? Is YouTube correct? If so, then please do click on it. That is the best way you can help me and my channel. Just please just go from one video to another. Thank you so much and goodbye.